Hi, I'm Shane from PDQ.com. All right, let's build some packages uh, that use exe files as their install file. Um, a lot of files anymore are installed with uh, MSI files. Exes are definitely still out there, and um, you, the, the goal here is we have to make these run silently. So I've actually got a couple of uh, packages already here that have uh, a couple of different exes. To save time, we've already built them. Uh, to, to cover the steps that you need, number one, uh, your install step. You can see we've got step two is an install step. And uh, this is where you specify the path. Just click on your ellipsis button, drill down to the exe file that you've downloaded from the vendor. And um, the parameters are massively important. I can't, can't stress that. And they vary by application, so they're not always going to be the same. This one looks like a, a little daunting. That's a pretty huge, uh, uh, pretty huge high number, I should say, high number of, uh, of parameters, but don't worry. First thing you're going to want to do when you're trying to figure out how to install this silently, really just some Google foo. Just, we'll just say silent install PDF creator. And I'm just going to go ahead and, uh, and click on, just click, click on some of these. You can see you can see all the options. We'll just do uh, let's do this one. Set, set up command line parameters. Actually, there we go. It, this is what you want. Force install. Yada yada yada. Just come on down, and you'll see all these different options. Uh, the, the most important of this one is the silent or the slash very silent. Really, um, you're going to probably want to do very silent. Uh, very silent. Uh, if you were to run silent, this install silent right here from a command line, you would see the windows going around, but no input would be required from you. The very silent doesn't even show the windows. Um, they won't see, even if you did silent, they wouldn't see that on the target computer because we're running uh, in a non-interactive mode unless you change that. So what you can see is I've got the parameters, force install, very silent, no restart. Uh, just you kind of need to play around with this. Um, but I'm going to grab BandyZip. Here's another example. BandyZip is very, very simple. They don't have a lot of command line parameter options. In this case, it's just a slash uppercase S. You'll run into these quite a bit. And if it's just a slash S, it's almost always uppercase. It is case sensitive in this, in this instance. So um, in this case, we're just saying run BandyZip exe and do a slash S uppercase. And that way it just installs the default installation quietly. If you don't have the correct parameters down, uh, chances are your deployment will hang because the the, the, the application is going to be waiting for you to basically click next a bunch of times until it's installed. Uh, but once again, your end user won't see that because it's going to be hidden. So it'll just effectively hang. That's why the parameters, probably the number one, um, the number one support request we get is, hey, this deployment is not going well. You've got to tell it to run silently. Uh, another another common one is uh, Firefox. Firefox, we're installing this. Uh, you know, we're installing the exe, and there's a couple of ways you can do Firefox. Slash ini file, and you have to specify the options you want in an ini file. So you can see that we're saying run this, uh, refer to this Firefox.ini, and we're adding that as an additional file. Another way to do it, if you don't want to do the ini, is just dash ms. I, I, ostensibly stands for Mozilla Silent. Uh, dash ms will install it. Um, all the all the default all the default options. So once again, Google foo. Find out what your silent parameters are. Choose your exe. Don't get overwhelmed. You can see we have a bunch of other steps in these packages, and that's just some generally some house cleaning. Like these are command steps. Remember, when you do a new step, you get to choose. I want an install step, a command, a PowerShell. Uh, these command steps, in this case. Literally just uh, uninstall like the Mozilla maintenance service. Uh, sometimes they might kill, I'll close this. They might kill the, the, the running program. I'm gonna open up PDF creator. And here we're saying, in this case, before we, uh, before we install, if there's PDF creator already running, the install is gonna fail. So you can see we're just giving it a regular task kill. Um, this, you'll run into this whether your install file is an MSI or an exe, sometimes an application just needs to be stopped before it can be installed or upgraded. So don't get overwhelmed by that. I just wanna show you that there's so many ways of installing applications and fine tuning your deployments using PDQ Deploy. If you have any questions, by all means, hit up our support site. Welcome to PDQ family, we'll talk to you later.